everyone I have finished my um, small victories postcard book so I thought that I would do a little flip through for you I purposely didn't take the book the cards out of the book so I could show you them and uh, show you what I'd done I will take them out and send them to people once um, I've shown you but here we go it's got a little bit grubby on the edge even just from me um, using it quite quickly really um, but anyway I haven't done the front cover as you can see all the um, inside cover here but I actually started on this page now this is um, part of a much larger page of really cute little posies from the main book and I did these with polychromos I remember now this one was a video I showed you how to colour the boat when I did the boat in the small victories book I was rather disappointed so I wanted to have another go and I did it for you in a video. I'm still not that happy with it. I still think it could be a lot better. But, you know, I rather liked the fact that the um, sea came out really textured. And it was just because of the way I sharpened my pencil in a bit of an odd way. <laughs> now, this one was a bit of a disaster. Um, there was a trend going round, probably still is, of making a sort of galaxy background. And then going over the top of the picture with a white pen and pencil. This didn't work at all. I used my Castle Arts watercolour pencils for the background and when I put the white pen, white pen on top, the pencil bled into the pen so it doesn't stand out enough. So unfortunately, even though I put the white pen on, it's not that good, but it just doesn't show up. So that's a shame. But anyway, this one here is part of excuse me, an autumnal page. Um, I think I might have done these in polychromos, looks like it. There wasn't much um, sort of shading or anything on this page because it's so detailed, but it's nice and bright. Now this one, I wanted to make all the cakes match. I had this idea to make them all striped. Yeah, I've got cake cases that look like this and I just thought it might be nice to make them all similar. To be honest, I think it's really boring. <laughs> mind but I have done tutorial for you for the cake page in the main book and they're much more interesting than these this one I did for you when I did the flip through so you've got this I think this was done with Ergosofts or some sort of Stedler pencils really quite simple but um, a lot of fun I love these viney designs and this one again I did this as a video one for each of the towers using Castle Arts gold pencils I remember and I was really pleased with how those two came out, so. And this page, again, I did as a video for you, one for each. Um, so there's eight videos, one for each of the little items. And that was um, done with Tombow pencils, I remember. And here is our little tortoise. I absolutely loved colouring him. I did him with polychromos. I took ages and just wanted to make everything look a little more three-dimensional if I could and just played with it and just had a whale of a time. Well, or a tortoise of a time. <laughs> now this one I did with um, some metallic pencils. You can see the shine a little bit. I felt that under the water it, metallic might be good and it's quite small. There's, you know, it's quite hard to do shading and things like that. So I just had to play around with my metallics. Oh, this is our, I think this is the summer um, wreath. Well, excuse me, I could have bit you all you on, I'm sorry. Now this looks to me, yeah, this is done with um, Ergosoft or Sedler. Looks like Ergosoft to me. Pencils. Now this one I really had a lot of fun with. I think, um, yep, Stedler or Ergosoft. Not sure which. Um, whether it's Design Journey or Ergosoft, anyway. I wanted to make the galaxy sky different in each one and um, make say this spaceship look quite metallic and this one if I could I was just playing around I just had a whale of a time and then the stars on the back I cheated and I just used a glitter pen well maybe that's not cheating there's a bit of glitter around each circle as well I really enjoyed doing these designs in the original book which I did on a video and this one I didn't I just did it for myself and I just 
really liked it. So um, I'm hoping that Johanna's going to do a small space designs because they're so much fun. Now these I did um, in videos from the book so I didn't do these again as videos for you this time and I just tried to do them a little bit differently to how I'd done them when I did them in the book. I think they're different. I don't know. <laughs> Can't remember. These are videos. There's two, one for each cup. I was then asked if I could do the teapot but no, there's no teapot in this book and I'd already coloured the one in the main book but you can um, have a look at these if you want. I had a lot of fun with the water and all sorts of skies and things. Now this one, I'm not sure what pencils I used here but um, I made it symmetrical, did this sort of peachy colour background which is really rare for me which is how I know it's not um, polychromos because there's no colour like that. Um, it may have been a steadler actually looking at it. This one I did do as a video because I had a lot of people liked the Lighthouse in the Bottle page that I did um, in my main book so when I saw this in the postcard book I thought I would do it for you and try and do a similar sky to the other one which I think is what most of you liked so I did that for you. This one in the main book there's a video for each one I've just not haven't coloured the bottom of the um, aubergines. Um, I really want to do that now but I won't. Um, <laughs> But I didn't did this these with polychromos, but um, just not on video because they're much smaller. It's much harder actually to do them. Now this one I did the other day. What did I use? Hmm. Oh, I think. Oh, I used um, um, what they called chromaflow. That's right. These are the this is chromaflow pencils. I could have used a bit of white on the bubbles but I didn't. This one again I did as two videos for you. I really enjoyed those. I hope that you did. Um, it was great fun. Um, yeah that one I did on my own. Um, it's a bit small for video and I'd already done a video for the heart shaped one in the book when it was Valentine's so I didn't need to do one again and I did it blue instead of pink because normally we do hearts pink for Valentine's so I wanted to do it differently. Now this page in the original book was really quite daunting for me because there's so many items, there's such a clutter of items. I hate cluttery shelves in my house, so colouring a cluttery shelf was not very appealing. And um, so I was a bit, I wasn't happy about doing it. So when I did the one in the book, I was like, oh, I've done it. It was a bit like that for that page. It was the sort of just the only page that I really wasn't very keen on doing. We'd had a lot of items on shelves in Rooms of Wonder and in Ivy there's some as well and I was just I don't really and then we quite get it cropped up again. But I just sat and had a go at it. Um I think I used coarse pencils for this and I just got through it really. But I was pleased with I enjoyed certain elements but not others if that makes sense. So that was okay. Now this is um was a um, tutorial um, video, a really nice easy going morning one and I did um, one flower per day so it's really straightforward so you can go and find that if you want to. This one I didn't do as a video and I didn't do it as a video in the book either. I think I probably should have but I didn't. Um, I think I was a bit scared of doing videos with all the glass but anyway I didn't because it's so small I didn't think I could really do much like with that it's so teeny so I didn't do it as a video. I can't get it to turn over though. And this one I did as a video for the last couple of days. Um, you may have seen them in the mornings if not you can go and watch. Um, and that's done with Ergosoft pencils and that is the last postcard in the book. So quite a short video today just showing you through that little postcard book. Um, but I hope that was useful for you. might inspire you a little bit if you're still working either on your postcards or on your book. I do have a flip through of my completed book as well so if you do want some inspiration for some of the pages that aren't in here or for some of the... Um, I've just noticed there's a little bird there. never noticed that before. Anyway, sorry. Um, <laughs> or some of the pages from the main book. Um, you know, if you've done a little bit of this from here and you want a bit more to 
see the rest of the page or whatever you know there is that one to look at as well if you want to but anyway for today i want to say thank you for watching um oh there will be another video later so it's not the end of today it's from well in my time zone anyway but um i hope you have a really great day um, and uh, have some time to do something relaxing whether it's colouring or something else even if you just sit in bed at the end of the day and take a few breaths you know it can just be quite cleansing but um, I hope you have a super day and happy colouring <laughs>